Redfoots are exploring and they're smelling the new area of land that they had. And then this one is your standard, perfect, beautiful, shelled elongator right there. Oh my goodness. That is an insane amount of black ants. Woo! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, you guys, we are going to be expanding my Redfoot Tortoise enclosure. Why? Because if you guys haven't been following along with all the different videos we've been doing here at the ranch, we moved my whole herd of Yellowfoots inside of the aviary. They got a much bigger enclosure set up over there. They're living in the aviary now, and they're doing absolutely great. So why not expand the Redfoot enclosure as well? The Redfoot enclosure is about 25 by 30. And now they're going to get another 25 by 25. So it's going to be a really, really big enclosure for them for now. Why do I say for now? Because if you guys follow along, you always keep your post notifications on. We always have different things happening here on the ranch. And as you guys know, we have some cassowaries. And the cassowaries need a new enclosure by the end of the year. So this whole entire area is going to get all teared down and redone in the near future. But we're not going to focus on that today. What we're going to focus on is taking off that divider wall right there so that the redfoots can expand and come all the way over here. The only thing that we have inside of here is a small group of elongated tortoises. So before we open it up, we're going to go search for these guys and make sure they're all good and all happy. So let's do it. All right. So let's look around and let's try to find these tortoises real quick. Oh, nothing in that one. We're going to keep on moving this way. We have a big old sea grape tree we've had for a while. It gives a lot of shade for the tortoises and um, it's going to be great for the future for the cats as well. All right, here we go. We got one gorgeous elongated female right here and then we have another one that we actually got from somebody else big girl she's actually a big good producer right here she has laid a lot and then we have one other one that's inside of here but fortunately we lost our male for some odd reason and unfortunately passed away so if anybody here is following me along and you live in florida somewhere and you have a couple extra male elongated tortoises and you're looking to rehome one or obviously purchase one or trade for something let me know i need a nice male probably around eight to nine inches and then we have this one right here it's kind of crazy check them all out real quick let's back it up this one very flat like almost like a pancake tortoise very interesting right this one a lot more domed and very interesting looking too look at the yellow face really pretty and then this one is your standard perfect beautiful shelled elongated right there it almost looks like a forest in tortoise but it's not this is an elongated gorgeous tortoise they eat all sorts of different types of things if you guys follow me on instagram you guys would have seen these guys were eating like dead rats and chicks and stuff people think that tortoises only eat vegetables fruits and greens but that is wrong these guys live on the forest the woods, mostly the forest, most of these tortoises, these different species of tortoises that we keep here, live in the forest, on the bottom of the forest, obviously they don't climb trees. So anything that falls from the canopy all the way down to the floor is what they're eating. So they're gonna be eating all the rotten food, they're gonna be eating all the dead animals and everything down in the leaf litter. So naturally, they will be eating anything they can eat and frozen, dead, no, there's no frozen stuff out there. But you guys get what I'm saying. So all everybody that freaks out seeing them eat dead stuff, it's natural and they absolutely love it. They go to it first for the fruits and veggies enough talking about tortoises let's take this wall down and see how the redfoots like the new 25 by 25 tortoise enclosure side let's do it all right so we're just taking this thing all apart and the wood that's in the middle we are definitely going to save it we're going to put it inside the building because that wood is 100 percent perfect and uh there's no reason to throw it away if we could just reuse it that's right. almost off Oh no, we got these little weird piece things that we put here for extra support. Uh, this little corner. And you guys are probably wondering what we're gonna do with the hose. Well, not the hose, the PVC. Thankfully, we have this ball valve that's right here. So we cut it on this side, it won't leak out and go everywhere. We can connect it back on later on without a problem, and uh, we'll be good. We have the sprinkler system there for water for the animals when during winter time when there's not enough rain. I'd like to wet it all up. Hopefully I'm right, and this doesn't make everything go crazy. That's just water in the water line. Watch when I do this. Oh. All right, we're good. Woo! 
cut the right side. Cut that side. It's not going to be too pretty. We don't want to do that. All right, here we go. She's off. We got this piece off right here. Where are we at? Oh, we got a piece of rebar we got to cut off over there. I'm not cut, but unscrew. Oh my goodness. That is an insane amount of black ants. Woo! Black ants just come from the moisture and the leaves and all that. They build up. They don't really bite, but they're just really, really, really freaking annoying. The red foot's here is like crazy right now. They're like, what's all that ruckus on the other side of that wall? All right, let's try to shake this stuff around and wiggle in. My God, look down there, you guys. How many ants you think that is? I'd say like 10 billion. Well, the smaller breeds of tortoises, some people ask me, what do you do to keep them back? Two by 12 by however long you want is the best, but 24 high. So you put two two by 12s on top of each other, makes it 24 inches tall. And the red foots, yellow foots, and any of the tortoise species smaller than that, radiated, um, star tortoises, all that, no problem whatsoever. They can't really jump over it. They can't climb over it. And you're pretty much good. Shouldn't have a situation. And yeah, 24 inches tall, just like that roof panel right there in the back. Roof panel I like a lot as well because they can't get through it. And the best thing personally, what I think, is they can't see through it, they don't wanna go through it. If they can see through it, they wanna go through it and they're always hitting up against the fence. They're in a big box, they can only see what's inside the box and up, and that's the best way I like to raise up my tortoises. It's less stress for them to see what's going out on the outside of that enclosure. All right, let's lift this bad boy up and we're gonna bring it to the side. Uh, it's a big, I think it's like a 20 footer. We're gonna put it to the side. And then once we have all the pieces there, tomorrow I'll find somewhere in the building to lay it down on some uh, timber, keep it nice and flat and uh, straight, and use it when we move all the tortoises for our next location. So actually, good spot for right now would be just right here on the side rock. Nice flat piece of wood right there. And it'll actually curve itself out a little more right there. Perfect. All right, pressure treated wood. It should last 10 to 20 years without a problem. This stuff has only been here, I would say, what, Kenner? Four years? No, or maybe five, like five, five, six. Four or five years. I think four or five years. All right, let's get the rest off. Check this out. So there's sometimes people tell me that, you know, they say that they treat their property with things to keep rats away and mice away and all that stuff. But unfortunately, when you have a farm and you have animals, even if you have 10 animals, 10 chickens, there are such things called field mice, field rats, local rats there's rats everywhere and it happens you can only do so much and now me personally on my property can't put poison out anymore why because of my cassowaries if a rat falls inside that enclosure and they want to swallow it they will swallow it they will die like this what happens with poison is the animal falls off gets in their blood system goes to back to his home dies my red foot eat rats so i can't put poison the only way i could get them is shooting them with a bb gun the most humane way or putting live traps up, and then humanely putting them down myself. But there's only so many rats you can catch every single day because once you put a trap right here, they learn that trap there and then they know that that's a trap and they teach their kids to go around this way. So it's like, it's an ongoing battle. It's almost like I have to hire somebody just to take care of the rat situation sometimes. And it just happens. Right now, we're good. The rats are good. But I can see this right here. And that's the definition of a rat nest that was built up in this corner. Yeah, you go quick, you're good. But then the ants start going crazy and then that's when we get the freak out of here and see what happens. Let's lift this up over the rebar. Uh, over the rebar. All right, dog. Oof. All right, now we just get away, let the ants figure themselves out. And uh, we'll come back in a few minutes. When you have a lot of trees, the leaves always fall. I like to make leaf piles in the corner. Why? It makes it very humid and um, it's like a, I forget what it is, exactly what it is, but it's like the forest floor. The tortoises love to burrow inside of it and they just love to just chill right there. It's a favorite spot to just hang out and chill and um, instead of all the leaves scattered everywhere. So just like pile it up. And if you guys are interested on my next time I make my tortoise pins, would you guys like to see the full videos on how I make my concrete ponds? My next concrete pond, instead of them like that, 
gonna have drains on them and overflows so that they're a lot, lot better. And we don't have to just overflow them like that and they go into the tortoise pen. They'll actually flow and go to another part of a pond, which is something I would love to do in the future. What you doing, girl? All right, we're dragging this bad boy out of here. A lot of answer on it. That's okay. We're gonna make a little seesaw real quick. Come over here. I can get on that side. Alright. A lot of ants on it still. That's alright. It's alright. Alright, Sandy, you grab that side of the ants, please. I'm gonna go this way. Alright? You're okay. funny. <laughs> Just drag it. Right now. Oh. 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 All right. Oh my God. They're escaping. That Kidding. was fast. They're not escaping. The Redfoots are exploring and they're smelling the new area of land that they have. Look down right there. Already eating the little sprouts of weeds. The reason why, well, sprouts of weeds. Why? Because the Yellowfoots have been out of this enclosure now for about two to three weeks. I wanted to make sure this enclosure was, you know, any of the poop, any of the pee, all of the germs kind of just went away from all the rainstorms we had. It got cleaned out, and now fresh greens are growing, all that stuff, and the tortoises are here to explore. Pretty cool, pretty awesome. So as you already see, the Redfoots are already trying to figure it out and starting to make their way this way. That one right there just realized that there's no wood there anymore. Natural patterns, they repeat them. It's like a map that they have in their head all the time. They know where to go all the time, so they go right back into their home and stuff of that sort. But that one was like, whoa, freaking wall fell down. So. They're going that way right now, figuring out their thing. Um, I was going to take apart this two pieces of wood over here, but I decided that I'm not going to take off these two pieces right here. They're about two 12-footers. Why? Because when I was unscrewing over there, this whole entire wall is connected to this. So it's a little loose. So for it being right now, I'm moving all of these skies in the next six months or so. So there's no point in moving that right now. It's just more open for them for right now. And then once we move them, they're going to get an enclosure the same exact size, another part of our property. So right now, what I'm going to have to do is get the screws and just screw it back in. And, you know, this gives a little natural little barrier as well. Because when you have a herd of tortoises, you want to have natural barriers. You want to have trees, you want to have logs, you want to have rocks and all that stuff. So that the females can get away from the males if they want to. So they can go over here, they can go over there. They'll figure it, everything out and do their thing. Because obviously in the jungle, the jungle is not just flat. There's giant trees that they could go around and hide on the other side. And then one day when they smell each other, they go over there and they find each other and they breed again. So let me grab a couple pieces of screws, screw that back in, and I'll be back. And our last screw. So now we're nice and strong again, so it won't fall off or any of that stuff. We are solid, we are good, and I'm happy. We're good. Let's go check on the Redfoots and see what they're doing. They're all exploring right now and getting all the new smells in their system. Tunnel of the Redfoots have already found the new enclosure. They're exploring, they're doing their thing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. If you guys are interested in any of these species of tortoises, well, make sure you guys go check out the website, blakesexoticanimalranch.com. We have tons of Redfoots available, star tortoises, leopard tortoises, Eastern Herman tortoises, cicada tortoises, wood turtles, all sorts of different things. Check it out, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everyone.